inverters convert DC to AC. The half bridge inverter outputs half of VDC if S1 is on, S2 is off, and negative half VDC if S1 is off and S2 is on. The full bridge inverter outputs VDC if S1, S4 are on, and the negative VDC if S2, S3 are on. The three-phase inverter has a more complicated waveform with the switches on, three bridge 120 defaced on, off. The switches on the same bridge should be complementary. If not, the source is a short circuit. First zone when S1 on, S3 off and S5 on, VA and VC is VDC. VB is uh, 0, VAB equal VDC. Second zone, both S3 and S5 are off. VA remains VDC, but VB equal VC equals 0, VAB equals VDC. Third zone, S3 on and S5 off. VA remains VDC, but uh, VA equals VDC. VC equals 0, VAB equals 0. Now we can draw VAB on the positive half cycle. The negative half cycle is uh, the opposite. The same thing happens for VBC. When S3 is on, the zone 1, 2, 3 has S1. Now S5 on, the VB is always VDC. And the VC is 0, 0, VDC. We can draw VBC. If we imagine a balanced load on three faces with a neutral point N, when S1 is on, S3 and S5 off, thus S2, S6 are on, we can get a, a Y connection on the load. And the VAN equals uh, Two third VDC, VBN equals uh, minus uh, one third VDC. Actually, this uh, two third VDC, one third ADC exists for other switches combinations too. We see that the point ABC will take the source voltage according to the switch's uh, status. Now, if we add a switch into the middle of the source, the point A can have three voltage values, half VDC, zero, and uh, minus half VDC. Remember, we can't have two switches uh, on the same time since it's uh, short circuits. If we have S1 on, the voltage on S1 is uh, zero, voltage on S2 is uh, VDC. Voltage S3 is uh, half VDC. The same thing happens when you turn on S2. This means S1, S2 must bear twice what S3 bears. And uh, S3 must bear bi-directional voltage uh, half VDC and uh, the current. It's a quadrant switch. We can replace S1 by two switches. In this way, each uh, switch uh, can bear half VDC. We have the same uh, uh, voltage rating switches. And also divide S3 into two lines to allow bi-directional. We have this topology. We can add more levels by adding more reaching parts towards the source like this one. Now let's see an example. We want to get VA in a more sinusoidal way, so we need to reduce the regular form into this one instead of only two levels. To reach the third level, both S2 and S3 need to be on, since the current flows bidirectional. And none of S1 or S4 should be on, since we don't want to reach half VDC. We can see that S1 and S3 are complementary, and S2, S4 are complementary. How about the relationship between S1 and S2? We see that the first uh, uh, half uh, cycle, S1 has the last thirds on, 
while S2 is always on. The last uh, half cycle, S1 is always off. S2 has the first one third on. Now we get the basic relationship among all switches. We can use the PWM to reduce the harmonics. For a traditional three-phase inverter, we use a single triangle career uh, compared with uh, the modulating sinusoidal wave. And uh, uh, for this uh, natural clamped uh, converter, we use uh, two triangle careers to generate the PWM. The reference modulating sinusoidal wave should be the fundamental of the combined S1, S2. When a uh, sinusoidal bigger than the 0, 1, 0 career, we get the one S1 on. And when the sinusoidal is bigger than the minus 1, 0, minus 1 career, we have S2 on. I put a MATLAB simulation example link in the show notes. Another topology is a cascade, which means we can put the bridge in a cascade way. The output point A can reach the two voltage of this source and also the two voltage of this source. This way we can also obtain a three level at point A. Mm -hmm.